Hello. Hi guys. Can you hear good me? Evening. Uh, Hello, good evening. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. And Joe, where have you been? JC, welcome. Hey, Robert. Hi. Hi. How, How are you guys? What's new? Hi, uh, working. Hey, Angel. Hi, Love teacher. Excuse me? Not A little tired. tired. That's what I said. Sometimes no see. All right. I'm well, tired. Arnold. Oh, I know. It's late. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good you're here and it's good to see you. I said, Arnold, I don't see you. Anyway, let's get started. We already finished the platform, but we're going to learn other stuff and practice, as I said. Well, so this is one of them. Hold on, let me download this. Okay, no. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. I wanted to show you that there are some groups that are pronounced similarly, all right? Some of these verbs, and we're talking about past simple or past perfect or past participle actually. So they're all the same and the pronunciation is similar. So the past of teach, we're gonna pronounce it as Taught, all right? Taught. Yes, if you notice this U-G-H-T is what they all have in common, so the pronunciation is going to be pretty similar, all right? So let's say, repeat with me and say, teach, taught. Teach, teach, taught. taught. No, taught. Talk, taught. The last taught. sound is a T, so t -t -t at the end. Taught. 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 Thought. Hold on. Okay. All right. Look. This you, you're not going to pronounce. Okay? Don't pronounce it. Actually, it's a combination of the sounds. This sounds more like an uh sound. Right? Hot. 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 Yes, that's right. Then we have thought. Thing, thought. Thing. Thought. Thing. Thought. 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 Fight. What's the past? Fight. Fight. Fought. 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 Exactly. Fought. What's the past of cat? Coat. Fought. 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 It's the same. Cut. Buy. Cut. But. But. Uh huh. But. Bring. Brought. Brought. Right. We're good. Right. Yes, let's read all of them in the past. So let's say taught, taught, thought, touch, thought, 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 caught, caught, bought, 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 brought, brought. Right. And uh, some common pronunciation mistakes are these two in which the B is silent, so you're going to say I have a doubt. 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 So don't pronounce that B. Doubt. And I have debt. 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 Without the B. Debt. 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 Okay. Debt. Debt. These are some other verbs that are pronounced and spelled very similarly as well. All right. So for the past of flight, we're going to say flu. Flew. Uh -huh. Draw, it's drew. 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 And blow is blue. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, I, you can actually say both, Roberto, by the way. I should include no here as part of this. Because it's, it's the same. The past of this is? New. Yes, and it can sound like o or you, or right? both. You. So you can say, for example, flu or flu. But I would say this is more common, flu, right? 
and clear. You can also say, okay. I, knew, I knew, I knew, right, either or. But the thing is that they're the same sound, basically. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, yes. now what we're going to pronounce is it, verbs in the regular form with a D, but linked to other sounds, okay? I'm going to send you a picture. Hold on. For example, what if I type How would you pronounce this? I work a lot. Worked a lot. I work a lot. Right. What's the pronunciation of this ED? T. It's like a T we said, right? And then, yes, and then we're going to link it to the next sound. So it's going to sound like? I worked a lot. I worked a lot. I worked a lot, exactly. I worked right. a lot. Yes. A. I worked a lot. I worked a lot. What if you have, um, let me see. How would you pronounce that? I learned about Jerome. Yes. First of all, how do you pronounce this ed? Is it the, ta, or id? First of all. Ta. Ta. Learn. I learned about. Is it a the, ta, or id? One, two, or three? One. The high is the first one. So this E D in reality you say D, right? And you pronounce it, you link it with that A, and the pronunciation is going to be learned about. I learned about. Exactly. Did you guys see that? Kind of. Yeah. I'm gonna you, right. I'm gonna send you one for you to practice quickly. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned this in class. But we didn't practice all of the statements, so I'm going to send it to you um, in one second. Learn a lot. Okay. In one second. All right, check WhatsApp, everyone, and I'm going to try to share as well. There it is. So one of them says, um, how would you pronounce this? I visited a museum. I asked a question. Uh, I right. asked a question. This is going to be a T, right? And you can ask, ask, a question. One. ask the question. Ask the question. Very good. Ask the question. First one says, what is this? E D. How do you pronounce it? E D. Like it, right? And then you connect it with this. And I said last time, if you have vowel and you have D, you have vowel again. It kind of sounds like a R sound, right? Like an R or D. So you say visitida, 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 visitida machine, right? Museum. Exactly. So let's practice the this pronunciation of those data. Yes. And then we're going to review another topic. So let's do this quickly. I'll give you three minutes to practice in pairs, okay? Did everybody get the image? Yes. Yes. All right, let's practice the pronunciation. Three or four minutes. All right. Um, accept the invitation now, please. Here we go.
I work but <laughs> I work on the weekend. I ask a question. Works on the weekend. Works on the weekend. Ask the question. Those are two. TD. Work on the weekend. Work done. Yeah, the thing is, if you say work on, it's present. Okay, work on, and it is correct. But you need to add that T. So you, you're going to say work done the weekend. Work done. Work done. Work, 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 mm -hmm. work Let's do the next one. Let me work hear you. I asked a question. I asked the question. Mm, no, that's a T. So I asked the question. Ask the Ask the question. question. Right. Everybody say it. I ask the question. I ask the question. I ask the question. I ask the question. It's a T. Ask the. Da, 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 da. Ask the question. Yes. Ask Are you saying the I ask the question. <laughs> oh, come on. I ask the question. Like that. Ask I... the question. <laughs> he show up. Okay, Jolanda. Early. Oh. Show up is present, all right? Show up. That's present. We need to put it in the past. What is the, the pronunciation of that ED? Oh. Showed with uh -huh. D? Yes, yeah, so that D connected with the A. Show and then that. Say it. Showed up. Exactly. That's the one. Okay. He showed up early? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Try it, Jose Armando. Yes, they, they stop at around eight. Uh, it's a T. Stop. Stop. Uh -huh. They stopped at around eight. They stopped at around eight. Okay. Uh, I worked on the weekend. It's like this. Okay, I worked on the weekend. Your turn. <laughs> yes, I ask. I ask a question. I ask a question. I, I ask a question. Yes. She boils an egg. Boiled an egg. Boiled an egg. Right, because it should be boiled, boiled an, an egg. Egg, an egg. Okay. We develop okay. a new. I have that ED. Is it t, the, or ed? We develop, we develop a new. Develop ta. Yes. Oh, we develop ta. Ta, 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 ta. Develop a new. Exactly, that's the one. Wow. Develop a new. Develop a new. Perfect. Develop a new. Develop a new system. Mm -hmm. Do All right, next one. Is that that's the last one, right? Yes, yes. With the right. level, yes. I With the level. And... Mm -hmm. How is that practice? Was it a well, picture? <laughs> good. <laughs> Uh, you are doing fine. Okay. Uh, um, are you guys confused on whether you have to pronounce ta, da, or id? Is that confusing? A little. Well, <laughs> for me, yes, a little. he's like, a little. Yeah, my, my tongue was. <laughs> was Twister. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send you a video with a tip later, all right? Uh, on Monday, I'm gonna send you a video. I did. I'll ask for permission. With a tip, like propina? Tip? No, it's a tip. Yeah, yeah propina. It's the same, but it has another meaning as well. I know. <laughs> All right, so no money for you, sorry. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> advice. You're not getting any money. No, the thing is yeah, that. Tip. Um, I, I have a YouTube channel with tips, right, or, or lessons, but in Spanish, so I can send you one about the past, but I have to ask for permission, all right? So let me ask first. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, 
I'm going to give you a tip right now. So look, we have three different sounds. I already said this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I said it. But yeah, let's yeah, let's review it. All right. Remember, it wasn't there. <laughs> remember, we're going to pay, pay attention, guys. All right, because I know it's confusing. So pay attention to the last sound of the base form of the base form the last sound of the verb in the base form okay pay attention to that now you're gonna pronounce it as t if if there is vibration of the chords right of the vocal chords you're gonna pronounce it as d if there is no vibration and you're gonna pronounce it as id if the verb ends in a t or the sound, not pronunciation. Okay. One more time. I'm just gonna give you two examples for each one, and that's it. All right, ready? Okay, so we were saying the verb learn. What is the last sound in learn? ED learn. No, okay, last sound of the verb in the base form. Okay, we have the verb in the base form. What is the last sound? N. It's an N. All right, very good. This is what we had to analyze. N. So say, mm, in touch here. Mm, can you feel vibration? Yes, yes, I can. So, if there is vibration, how are you going to pronounce ED? With a T. With a T. T. I learned. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It's the other way around. Vibration. Hold on. Ah, um. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is no vibration. This is vibration of the chord. Yeah, so this is a D. All right, sorry. Learned. Yeah. Very good. Now we have the verb work. What is the last sound you hear? K. Okay. It's a K. How does that sound? K. Okay. Work. There's no vibration of the chord, so how are you going to pronounce it? T. T. T, and you say worked. Worked. Okay. Work. And then we have the verb, for example, work. calculate. What is the last sound? E. It's a T, so you're going to say calculated. 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 Is, oh. that, is that clear? Yeah. Yes, One more example. All right. I'm going to say the verb um, stop. What is the last sound in stop? T. It's a P. How does it sound? Blue sound. We a T. No vibration, right? No vibration. So it's going to sound as a T, stopped. Last time I'm bullet. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what somebody said. <laughs> stopped. All right. And then we have the verb hug, like this. Hug. What's the last sound? Hug. G. Good, 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 good. There is vibration, so you're going to pronounce it as? D. As a D. <laughs> so I hugged, hugged my mom, hug. for example. And then we have the verb visit, the most common one. What's the last sound? Visit it. T, right? And it says if it ends with T, T or D, e -E -T. we're going to add the extra C level and say it. Visit it. Visit it. Okay. That's the way it works. Then it's just a matter of practice. All right. Now we have, um, we're going to practice the burger. More like more of a debate, okay? Are you guys listening? <laughs> yes. So for example, um, women are as smart as men. If you notice, we have adjective as that, okay? And give your opinion. Do you agree or disagree and why? So say, for example, I think women are not as smart, are more smart or smarter or whatever you think, all right? Matter. Ready? I want you to yes. discuss all of these. You have them on WhatsApp and in a different group. 
questions about this activity? No? Just give your opinion and pay attention to the structure. All right, let me make the, the groups, hold on. Um, so you can work with different people. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Yes, I see. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm reading. Okay. Do you do you think that indoors activities are as fun as outdoor activities? Uh, do you agree or disagree? You know, huh? Yes, I think that uh, uh, the outdoor activity is as fun as indoor activity. Indoor, as okay. indoor activity. Okay, what, what do you think, Jose Armando? Yes, I agree. Depends. Well, Depends on the activity. Uh, for example? Uh, <laughs> you got to... <laughs> you got to, <laughs> to swim. If you're staying on watching video or listening music. It is. It is cool. It is fun. It is as fun as the outdoor activity. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I think... Indoor activities are bored. <laughs> are boring. Boring. Oh, boring. No. Oh, oh come on, bro. Mm -hmm. okay, Why, no? What do you think yeah. that? Hello. I think outdoor activities are as fun as indoor activities. You, you say you thought they were not as fun because indoor activities are boring. Yes, but uh, I think indoor activities are uh, limited. Mm -hmm. Yes, for, that is for right. For example, an indoor activity uh, could be watch TV, Watching TV. Uh, uh, Let me play. tell you something, Noe. What? Let me tell you something. Yes. Yeah, the thing is, you're saying, I think that in the examples are watch TV, uh, play video games. The thing is, if you say watch TV, play video games, you're giving a command. You're using the imper imperative form. Okay. So that's why you need to use ing. So playing video games, sleeping, watching TV. You need ing because so that it's not an imperative. Okay. Okay. Right. Women are as smart as men. Connected, Yolanda. As smart as. Sorry. Try to connect it. Say as smart as, not as a smart. Uh, as smart as. As smart as. as. Okay. Women are as, are as smart as men. As smart as. <laughs> smart as men. Right, but that as smart. <laughs> smart is double S, but you say it as one, but longer. As smart. Okay. As smart. Say it. Okay. As smart, smart as. No, no, Women no, no, but say as smart as instead smart. of as the, uh -huh, you're, the thing is you're saying as a smart, but it should be as smart. Okay. All right? We can do it. <laughs> I don't know. Read it for me. As smart. 
That's it. But read the, the whole sentence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Women are as smart as men. Women are as smart as men. Uh-huh. Yay. <laughs> so that is. Are smart again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, smart. Smart. Like, smart. 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 Women are smart as men. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Good, good. Continue. I'll be here. I agree. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I agree too. <laughs> but why? Where do you get that from? Um, I think in the past, usually uh, men uh, used to have an important uh, job or well-paid job, but now women have demonstrated that they are be very capable. Sorry? Women have demonstrated? Yeah, women have demonstrated that they are very capable to develop. A very capable of? You always say capable with of. Very capable of? Very capable of uh, doing any job. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's awesome. What do you think, Jose Armando? I agree too. Uh, it depends. It depends always. Yeah. It always depends yeah. <laughs> on the individual. Because there are women who are very smart. But there so are smart. women. <laughs> but there are one. No. There are men. Angel. Angel. And this, this disagree because Angelina Jolie is 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 very hard and um, physical <clears throat> is most better Penelope Cruz. It's more beautiful or better. More beautiful. Uh huh. Than Penelope. Better. She has better physical appearance. Okay. Yes. Have you finished? Uh, yes. No. No, one more. Go ahead. Let me hear you. One more. One more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Men are as jealous as women. Do you agree or disagree and why? Men are as jealous as women. Women. Uh, yes, women. 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 Yes. Women. This is a good question. I disagree. Why? I think women are more jealous than men. <laughs> Mr. Garcia, are you married? Um, <laughs> yes, but um, uh, now uh, we are uh, separate. Ah, uh, you're separated. Yes, okay. I, we have uh, almost two years. Okay, you can say we have been separated for almost two years. Yes, we have been separate. separated. Almost two years. Okay, from your experience, are women more jealous or as um, jealous as men? I I think uh, I think uh, no. women are more jealous. I, <laughs> I for example, my uh, of my coworkers. Uh, mm -hmm. Women, <laughs> the, I have uh, very uh, co-worker women that are very jealous. Uh, they uh, angry only for a for a, a like in Facebook or or oh, why no. you see her uh -huh. picture and you <laughs> you give a like. Or I've no. been there. <laughs> you, yeah, they're very jealous. Uh, uh, you uh, please block 
that girl in your in your profile because oh where, where, where. <laughs> <Did he hear? laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. That's kind of dramatic. Yeah, and I have another uh, co-worker that uh, uh, when the when her husband uh, fell asleep, uh, also she sleep? take yeah, she took. Uh, take, take, his take the phone. cell phone and check <laughs> and check uh, his whatsapp and <laughs> 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 all right we're gonna go back now that's fine but you see women okay. women are more jealous than men hello <laughs> we had a small oh, debate no. here all right who are more jealous, women or men? <laughs> men. Oh, women. <laughs> woman, woman. Hey, we're lost, Yolanda, because we only have men here. <laughs> we're the only women. <laughs> yeah, but they don't accept it. <laughs> they cannot accept it. No, yeah. sorry, Yolanda, but you're alone here because I think that women are more jealous. <laughs> Yeah, okay. you see? I'm gonna go on the guy's side because yeah. He, he is today. <laughs> oh, I I gave you some real example about, uh, <laughs> no, about I know. women, what but I you? know. Tell us. What about you, teacher? Am I jealous? Yes, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I'm avoiding trouble right now. Yeah, because I don't want any trouble. <laughs> Yolanda, are you not jealous? No, I am not. Okay, so, so you see. Nah. We don't I believe not. you, Yolanda. We don't believe you. <laughs> it's hard to believe that. <laughs> it's hard you to have believe to believe it. That. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe her. If she yeah. thinks that men are more jealous, well, it is the case. Yolanda looks very calm. Yes, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> you need to be afraid of people who, or women who look like that. Oh, come on, Roberto. <laughs> should be enchanted. Um, hypnotized. I mean, no. <laughs> you don't fall for it, okay. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. Jose Armando, who are more jealous? Women or men? <laughs> I don't hear you. Women I didn't hear. JC, women or men? Uh, women. <laughs> Are you suffering from jealousy right now? <laughs> no. You don't have any problems with that. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's no, terrible. <laughs> all righty. We're going to do an exercise. This is a little bit more complicated, all right? This is a topic we were studying. Few, little, much, many, too, and too many, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to write the same idea, but inversely, okay? For example, here, we're going to use few or little. We're going to use few for countables or uncountables. Remind me, please, because I have forgotten. I Few is uh, for countable. Uncountable. Um, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 What about little? Countable. It's for count countable. Okay, you're getting me confused. Hold on. <laughs> 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 all right, let's let's fix it. All right, so we have little. Okay. And we have few. So now I'm gonna put it in the same order. Few and little. All right. Few is for countable, and little is for uncountable. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Everybody yes. say yes. That's countable. what you said. Uncountable. <laughs> Just the opposite. Just the other way around. But yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, for example, he really hasn't got a lot of work to do. So if he doesn't have a lot of work, what does it mean? He has few work to do or little work to do? Few. Okay, but let's go back to this. Few is for countable. Can Very I say little. I have 
three works. Can I say that? Yeah. No. You can say I have three jobs, but not three works. Okay. Okay. The work okay. is not countable. Actually, you, to... I think you can say I have three works to do on my job today. And no, that will be like three tasks. three activities, but not work. Work is not countable. Three jobs, tasks. Okay. okay, so he really hasn't got a lot of work to do. So what are we going to say? He has? A little. He has? Little work to do. A little work, work to do, exactly. Number two, my father doesn't smoke a lot of cigars. How are we going to change that? My father smokes few. Uh, my father few cigars. Smokes few smoke cigars. Few. Uh huh. So if it's negative, it's going to be affirmative, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to replace a lot. Or few or little. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Try it. You can do it. If you think twice, you might be able to do it quickly. All right, let's look at this side. So his trousers aren't long enough. If there aren't long enough, what are we going to say with, with small? Trousers are small, are too small. Arse. Yeah, here we're too simply small. going to add two. What's the meaning of trousers? Trousers are pants, formal pants. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so I want you to do four from this side or five and three from the other side. All right. Now let's do five and four, okay? I sent that to WhatsApp, so I want you to type and you're going to work in pairs. Take your time. Ready? Great. Okay. Or you have questions before we start? Okay. Nope, let's work in pairs. Van, hold on. All right, accept the invitation, please. <laughs> good. I'm also very good. Okay, we so, missed you yesterday. <laughs> yes, I couldn't connect yesterday. We okay. missed you. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not little man will have. Actually, little of little of man who have done what he did. Little of men. Okay, men are they countable or uncountable? Uncountable. No, you can say I know two persons. To men, men is the plural form of man. So it is countable. You can count it. Countable. Yes, it is. 
So it's a few men who have done what he did. Exactly. A few men. It's a few men will have done what he did. Yes, a few men will have done what he did. For example, putting his life in danger for someone else. Okay. A few men would have yeah. done the same. Very good. It is countable. This new model has sent. Not a lot of men no. would have done what he did. No, no, no few men would have. I'm confused. Little men? Yeah, no, right. it's few, few, few men. Few. Yeah, few men, uh, few men have will done have done what he do what, what, he, what did. he did. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. The next the, one. This, this new, new model, model hasn't attracted a lot of attention. Little okay. Okay. Uh, this new model has a has hasn't attract. I don't know a lot of attention. Our guy, ah. Our guy didn't know. No, this model didn't... has attract little attention. Has attract little oh, attention. Yeah, so... We can At hear attracted. you. Attracted. Attract. Attracted. Attracted little attention. I attracted think it's correct because, because attention is uncountable. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think it's correct. Uh, this new model hasn't. Uh, Attract, has, attract, uh, 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 has attracted a little attention. That is right. Mm -hmm. Little, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, correct. Okay, uh, okay Noe. The next. The next one. So I didn't know a lot a lot of English. Um, our guy, uh, our guy know a little of English. Mm, but it's in the past though. Affirmative past. New. Our guy knew mm -hmm. little of English. Little no, English. few. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, later. Right, because you cannot count it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the Armando? What is the next? <laughs> What's the next one? We didn't. Sunshine in the moon. It's countable. Hello. Hello. Had a little of sunshine this month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or few. A little. Few. A few. Oh, no, few. Few or few. Yeah. Okay, few, a few or a little. What are we talking about? Uh, sunshine, right? Sunshine. Sunshine. Can you count it? Yeah, no. in this month. You cannot count it. The no, sunshine, you, you cannot count it. You cannot say, I, I have seen three sunshines. You cannot say that. Yes, that's uncountable. Uncountable. So you're going to say few. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We yeah, and the few. Have, have a few sunshine this month. Exactly. Yeah. That is perfect. No, we have had a... Um, 
Little? Little sunshine? Sun Little, sunshine. correct. That's correct. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, we have had a little of sunshine this month. This month, yeah. Okay, yes. the next one. We don't hear a lot of juries going to China. No, I, I don't think so. Especially lately. <laughs> China, though, in China. Yes. Uh, I don't believe so. We hear a, we hear a few of tourists going to China, China. <laughs> Yay. No, I think it's little. Okay, we hear a, a little of tourists going to China. Mm-hmm. We hear a, a little little of tourists going to China, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jose Armando? Yes. He may, he may. Last few weeks. A little progress. Yeah. A, a little, little progress. Yeah. Okay. In the last few few weeks. Yeah. Another one. Okay. And the other one says, eh, "My car is not reliable enough." Eh, so my car is too on too too unreliable. I don't know. Yes, it is right. Too unreliable. Okay. Okay. Eh, no, eh? Yeah. Um, China. Not, it's not my car is Unreliable. No. Um, reliable. Unreliable. Unreliable. Reliable. Unreliable. 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 It's very difficult. <laughs> unreliable. It's only like say unbelievable. Unreliable. Unreliable. Reliable. Very good. Reliable. We're gonna go back. Yes. Unreliable. 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 Okay. Uh, Whenever I had the chance to listen to you, you were doing a great job. Let's say hooray for everyone. <laughs> you did great. All right. The, Thank the, you. The last topic I would like us to review is check WhatsApp. Let me see. Are you looking at my screen? Can you see it? Yes. You yes. can see my screen? All right. Let's yes. see. I just sent this. Remember indirect questions, right? We're gonna do it in the form of a statement. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think you can see my screen. No, no, I see you. Okay, okay. I see you. So now look, we do. Where do you live? Can you tell me where you live? Right? We don't use the auxiliary anymore and this looks like a statement. You live. Your brother lives. We put this letter S because it is like the affirmative form so he lives your brother lives all right and if it is in the past the verb has to be in the past do you remember this topic and when is she going to brazil do you know when she is going to brazil look at this part next month she is going to brazil that's affirmative it's not a question anymore okay that's why it is indirect so what I want you to do here, you have some in the present form. Yep, present, most of them are in the present. I would like you to do these, 
this way in as an indirect question, all right? But we don't have much time. We only have three minutes to do those five sentences. So let's do it quickly, all right? Okay. We're gonna work with different people. Um, mm -mm. Hold on. One second. Okay, we have like three minutes. So if you can do one or two, that's okay. And I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, yes, I, I can hear you clearly. Okay. Okay, I start. So, uh, do yeah. you know where your sister studies? Do you know where? Sabe donde estudia tu hermana, verdad? Uh huh. Where your sister studies? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Voy a pasar al. Yes. Okay. Where do your friends go? When does the pharmacy open? When in a Lisa party. When do you relax? Okay. okay. Hello. Yes. Hello, I lost my connection. <laughs> ah, okay. No problem. So the first one is where does your sister study? Can you convert it into indirect question? Okay. Uh, can you tell me where uh, where uh, your sister study? Okay. Uh, the next one. Where do your friend go? I would like to know where your friend go. Okay, we don't have much time, but give me the answers. What's number one? Can you tell me where your sister study? Very good. Jose Armando, too. Quickly, guys. Quickly. The second one. Can you tell me where your friends go? Your friends go. Very good. Angel Castillo, three. Can you tell me when does pharmacy open? Mm, somebody wants to help? Can you, Do you tell know me where... when? Sorry. Go ahead, Yolanda. No, you can go. Okay. Do you know when the pharmacy opens? Opens with letter S because it's affirmative and it's present simple. So you need letter S. Okay. When the pharmacy opens, and uh, could you tell me when uh, is Alice? No, when Alice party is. And I'd like to know when Ali. you relax. Okay. But you can change the expressions. All right, guys. Um, we'll continue practicing tomorrow. Two more, cl two more classes. Yep. And that's it. <laughs> okay. All right. It was great seeing you. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, okay. have a good, good night. night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.